Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Iken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough with uh, the insane difficulty. It is time for Act 3, Chapter 2, Biohazard is the name of the game. We are still trying to get our trail onto Ukon and Gabe for uh, this mission will be banned unfortunately so it's going to be Sid and Mikaela and the optional objective here is don't use frag or stim grenades which is going to be quite difficult if you ask me um, as long as we do have our scout with us so given that that is the optional objective i'm wondering to which degree we might be better off um, to leave spectre at home and instead add the other support here, Mojo, instead of uh, Diaz, who unfortunately cannot join us. But then again, that would mean our scout doesn't get any experience, and the only real advantage for that optional objective is a blue reward. We're almost completely epicked out, so I feel okay with skipping that one and instead just going for biohazard straight away. So let's deploy our Fantastic Four here, this time without Gabe, but the rest is pretty much the prime team. If we're gonna brew up this gas, we need ingredients. Intel says we'll find him at an old UIR chemical weapons depot. Gabe's busy cleaning up the Prescott mess, so it's on us to make sure Sid behaves. Nice one. Okie dokie, so let's start. And we got the team ready to rock and roll. I'm pretty sure Sid is going to behave, but who knows. It takes two chemicals to make cytostatic gas. Fluorosil, something called RC-50. We'll need plenty of both, so get cozy by those crates. No slack, Aston. Okay, cool, so it's... You're the one who's got to prove his worth. It's a bit of a defense uh, and supply gathering mission yet, yet again. There is a fantastic high ground up here that should give us plenty of space to, to deal with whatever is coming here. Fire lines aren't the best inside, but we should still be fine. I'm not seeing any other great high ground positions, potentially over here. But that wouldn't allow us to shoot all the way to here. So I guess we're going to be fine. We got an epic shell there. We got an epic shell there. And where is the third container? Epic here, epic there, and epic there. Okay, cool. All of them are more or less in reach. Don't use frag or stim grenades. I'm not sure if proximity mine is considered to be a frag grenade, but I suppose we're going to find out relatively soon. So for starters, Roger that. Let's charge in and can we take that one here? Yes, we can. Hey. Good, fantastic. Jack is going to be on duty to to obtain that third crate. Ideas? Okay. Michaela moves up because we need her at that high ground here. And I'm wondering, like, if we're using the scout this year. This inner room looks like a perfect spot for someone in close combat, right? So Sid and and the scout could be here, whilst on the other hand we have the heavy. Hmm. Well, we could also use the heavy over here and essentially just use Overwatch. That should be good giving Sid the opportunity to be here and maybe maybe we're using the scout as kind of a flexible uh, flexible moving element between both sides 
All right. Sid begins to move up. I'm always trying to maximize the run distance just a tiny bit more by giving them the order to move into cover. And that's the Grenadier. What's the lie, people? A lovely opportunity for us to get his gun. That could give the scout enough oomph to deal uh, with the enemies even without their grenades. Redburn! No more funny business with that gun. I'm watching you. Knock yourself out. I got shit to do here. Good. Moving up. I think we can just start cleaning. Shit, yeah. <laughs> that mainly puts her into an uh, into a really nice spot. I'm Almost full magazine. Up. All of them are down. And that's fine. Fantastic. Jack moves up. We're uh -huh. going to get another epic case here. And I would say our scout also moves up. Ready. Just taking that forward or frontal position. Oh, just realized that this guy is here. Okay. Well, if that's the case, let's make sure he's staying right there. Okay. Fantastic, because that means he cannot charge towards us. That's all I care for at this point. We'll go. Well, now, there's a fine. We got 75% damage rate, almost 95% damage reduction here. If he uses his uh, his grenade, he better uses it on Sid. Mm, ouch. We could have been off even worse uh, than that, so that's okay. Sniper aura, let's confirm that. Thanks, Jack. And Jack moves back in here. Orders. There is a really solid percent chance to hit him and crit. Thankfully we got the extended magazine now. Which makes it so much easier. Heavy here. 50-50 to get him. I think we could try that. Oh yeah, easy. Easy. Fantastic. Yep. So we can give her maximum action spec, but I think that's almost an overkill for now. Friendly on site at the first chemical crate. Down you go. Yep. All right. Going now. Moving in. Defend this area. Go ahead. Scout begins to move in as far as we can, really. Or not. We're Maybe just moving over here. Second chemical site located. Time to settle in and play some defense. Huh. Putting up a proximity mine. And as for our heavy, I would say next round we can move in and start. Uh, to play defense here. For now, we're fine. 
I've got Overwatch. Got locust activity. Good. So far, so good. Two berserkers and on the way. Keep them off the one of those chemicals, I think. Another two, no, one berserker and two of the dis disciples. Is what's their name? I think okay, disciples. First batch collect. All right, snap to it. They could run up and go through here. Which Orders. they certainly could try. Just wondering if we're in full cover over here, right? This Set should deter them quite a bit. I read you. In the meantime. Let's jump out. Ah, that's two turns. All right, moving we're moving out. up. And let's cloak. Next turn we can take the boom shot and pay back to these fools. We can then put all of our eggs on that left side basket. I think for now, we're actually quite good in <laughs> hitting them. Oh boy, 80% crit chance. Yeah, never mind. We don't need to put any extra back uh, X in the, to that basket. All right, Overwatch. Um, as I was saying, Jack continues to move over. We need to heal over here, and for now we're fine. Yeah. Later, Jack. I'm not sure if we're going to become visible if we pick something up. I don't think so. Yep. Okay. Well, we learned that we become visible if we pick something up. Anchor down. It gives us 40% evasion, because I didn't know that that was a problem. And for now, we're just going to overwatch. Watch. Coming. Oh, come on, move in a bit further. Gotta get the show rolling. If we were to move to here, we would have line of sight and high ground. And we're going to do exactly that. The thousand two hundred sixty. Uh, there is a good chance that we're actually killing this guy. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Again, 70% chance that we're killing him. <laughs> okay. Still not the case. I'm listening. We are just going to overwatch here because 
That is very likely where they are going to come from. Ready. And that's four overwatch shots that they need to deal with. Ready. Oh, we got the boom shot. How could I forget about that? Almost out. Two for one. Blood rush. Three movement. On it. Moving back to here. We're trying, uh, we're starting to heal. Good assist, Jack. Jack's moving to here. And Jack's just going to hide. For now, we are just Stay healing up. Trouble, Jack. Good. The moment that this guy is moving I'm in further. Out. They will eventually get shot down. Dig in. Here they come. As far as I understand the reinforcements so far, they're not going to reinforce further unless unless you have killed all of the enemies. Another one down. Halfway home. Which means God, this is actually beneficial for us God. to just wait for now. Need ammo. That poor fella. Just found out that we have a boom shot. Okay, moving into cover. Forty percent chance. No, it's not good enough. Great job, Jack. Moving a bit closer and becoming invisible again. Go ahead. Later, Jack. Well, 45% still not really good, but it's 50-50. Oh, come on! All right, didn't work out. Not the end of the world. Ready. We're going to reload. Reloading. And this guy can now take the long way around. Or decide to get in here, in which case that would right. be a really, really bad idea for him. Moving over, 100% chance. I think we're just going to execute this guy. Perfect position here with the high ground in many more aiming angles than I would have anticipated beforehand. So that position here is absolutely perfect for a sniper. Eyes open. Well, I. Rob's coming. <laughs> he's he's going to be regretting that decision yeah jumped in completely stopped Okay, we're getting back into a cover position over here. I get the job done. Yeah. That's a very nice hit. Okay. They are likely going to either come through here or through here. Given 
that we have the other side under control. Affirmative. Oh, it's just Overwatch here. here. Down and out. Yep. Moving out. Scout moves in. Jack begins to move in. Jack just deploys a 75% damage reduction field. Keep it up, Jack. Gotta admit, Jack's Jack has slow. become such a monster in most of the missions. Really, it. it is incredibly strong. All right, reload it. And he the heavy here tank with all of uh, the additional disruption gear, healing himself while standing there, he can just take one point by himself. It's crazy. I think we already won the mission. Yeah. Okay, go with the carry. Is it all right? Yeah, with the exception of learning that picking yeah. something up means Nobody's you're losing you your concealment, like the, the rest actually worked uh, respectively well. That's it straightforward mission and i'm still torn between whether i like the sniper more or the heavy it's almost dependent on the situation if the sniper is in such a nice position like you've uh, just seen it she's dealing tons and tons of damage uh, on the other hand if you do have a location that you need guarded it really seems uh, that there is no better uh, person than the heavy Evasion is good. Autoloader, not bad. I don't know what Shadow is. So let's take a look what all three of those are doing. Shadow. When the unit is in cover and not flank, 10% evasion. Okay, not, not bad. But we were homing on to the whole execution thing with him. And this here is straight up movement range and evasion which is really actually quite good the other uh, thing here is autoloader 70 percent uh, chance to reload primary weapon and uh, one primary weapon ammunition at beginning yeah if we were still looking for that it would be good i'm wondering the boots we do have utility belt and that with the cooldown reduction for the frags is too good to um, pass uh, pass on to these uh, sid did have uh, heavy weight which is 10 percent damage reduction and i think uh, evasion uh, would be better more movement range and 10 percent evasion i don't fully know how damage reduction and evasion works i would think it's two different roles first evasion then damage reduction or evasion is a flat reduction and then damage reduction kicks in but under the assumption that it is somewhat similar these boots here are better and he does have one of the best uh, breastplates in the entire game it's not even a question same here untraceable is it's just incredibly good double down five percent stacks up three times sleek is not for him because he's not moving much the evasion might be decent shadow unit is in cover and not flanked it gets 10 percent evasion and 10 percent evasion on top of it so that's 20 percent damage reduction self-repair yeah i'm not sure if we if 20 percent so it's a net 13 percent evasion versus um five percent 
make at best 15% uh, damage increase. He is a damage dealer at the end of uh, the day and I get the feeling he's already relatively tanky. That being said, of course, you could always get just a tiny bit more tanky. Nah, I think we're fine. His helmet is also good, right? Yeah, hardened. Her helmet is fantastic with optics. All right, good. Let's just get uh, the the skills. When this unit uses reload on an empty magazine, 25% damage uh, for two turns would have been better with a smaller magazine. When this unit is targeted for the first time, 40% evasion. Hmm. If the target of a shot is at less than full health, 10% critical uh, chance bonus, that would be good for the massive enemies. And you know what? I mean, we could go over here, right? Weak spot and then take uh, Epiphany just to uh, get those extra returns. And then we can either take Alpha or Omega, likely Alpha to be the better one. The passive reload is a better fast grab as in uh, power now. It's not overwatching that much. I think the weak spot, uh, the 10% critical hit would go a long way because that uh, we have so far built her around getting to 100% crit rate um, or crit chance with a sniper aura and then just like plowing away from there. Precision shot isn't bad. Headhunter definitely is great, but we are not going to get that deep into it. Plus, I don't want a lot of extra shots. I'm, I'm somewhat debating whether precision shot is even worth it. I wouldn't use it really, unless it's absolutely required to hit. Um, but yeah, that one here looks good. The 10% critical hit chance. And then of course, Epiphany is what I originally wanted, right? The other option is active reload. And being sort of elusive, the 40% for the first time hit isn't too bad. I think what I landed on is I wanted to do active reload first together with elusive. And then eventually um, reskill and go into epiphany. Yeah. That second chance looked great at the beginning. It's not totally bad, but it's it wasn't fantastic so far. It was okay for fast fingers a few times. Setup isn't bad either, specifically when you're not taking shots. I think we're just going to active reload and then take elusive. That here could save us once by not immediately being shredded. And like I said, we can reskill. We still have plenty of reskill tokens. And then just go all the way up here, take that, uh, take weak spot, epiphany, and maybe alpha and omega for some extra uh, extra passives. I think that's overall good. When this unit hits an enemy with a critical hit, a unit gains plus 20% critical hit chance for the rest of the turn. <laughs> Well, that's pretty damn good. It's an enemy with a critical hit. The equipped weapon gets plus one ammo in the magazine. <laughs> okay. Well, that is clearly the build for critting, right? Kills an enemy with a critical hit. 25% chance. Unit will get two actions. 
not bad either. Like this here is full alpha striking, but I think still think, uh, think that the hunter side is better and it's overall we're well skilled here. I, I really appreciate the build so far. Anyways, that gets us to the end of today's video. Uh, quick, uh, was a quick one. Uh, next time we're going to continue with Finders Keepers, where it's Gabe and Mikaela uh, trying to run the next mission. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy the content, leave a comment and a like down below. And uh, that would really help the channel. See you in the next run. Bye bye.